Hey everybody, Boxing Ball coming back up to you, back to you. My son gives me a thumb up so I know when it's recording. Um, I thought I'd bring Hidden out here. I haven't showed her off in a while. She's a Pink Panther line, 100% uh, hit for VPI. That brings me on, on another topic. Why did I pick up this girl? Obviously because she's hit VPI. So that's the topic I want to talk about. Investment. What's an investment to you? And to me, it's any animal you purchase. That's an investment because it, it takes time, effort, money, patience um, to, to take care of any animal you get. Um, but if you're talking about investment when you're buying a snake, I know a lot of people are saying, Jay, you have this snake and that snake, but why didn't you go out and buy a, a, a VPI, a, a, you know, actual vpi positive i mean why didn't you just go out and buy the actual snake and you know i thought about doing that when i got into the vpi project it did enter my mind um the topic did go there i almost bought one but then i thought i don't want to do that investment type of buy i could have i've done it with other stuff but i wanted to do the little bit harder work stuff you know i wanted to put you know not just effort into I want to put more effort into I, I didn't want the payoff right away I didn't want to buy the payoff I wanted to get a snake like this that's going to take me three to five years to grow up and hopefully she breeds and then I'll get a VPI T positive bow you know and so that to me is a fun investment type snake it's not always the most expensive snake you buy that's going to be the investment. It's the payoff. It's doing the work. And another reason why I look at her as an investment is I didn't just buy her because she was a, a, a Pink Panther line, 100% hit for T-positive VPI BOA. I bought her for several reasons. A, the saddles. I was looking, when I was looking for a hit, were these big, thick, bold pattern saddles. I just think that looks amazing on a boas and I know that's a gene that will carry on to her offspring. So even if when I when I breed her to my boy, you know, Poseidon, I'm gonna get some awesome looking boas. Whether they're VPI, whether they're jungle, whether they're motley, whether they're VPI jungle motleys, whether they're they just turn out like her, that's that's what I want. Big, thick, bull patterns. And I think that's going to look, translate well into any project I put her into. And she's a pastel. So no matter what, as long as I keep breeding pastel into the line, especially the pink pa pastel line, the better looking the babies will get. So I want to make some awesome looking, and I hate this word in boas, I hate this word in snakes in general, normal boas. I'm sorry. It's, there's nothing normal about any boa you own. It just might not be a certain morph, but there's nothing normal about any snake, any boa, anything. They're all unique, they're all special, they're all beautiful in their own way. But with her, I know the offspring that I'm going to get from her are going to be phenomenal, which then can go into other projects that I have. You know, on down the road, her offspring will go into other projects, you know, with this bolder, thicker pattern, with the pink panther line throw the, v, the, the VPI thing out the window at that point because then she's going to be going into other projects and her offspring will be going into other projects, going into other different roads. So therefore, when you're looking at buying an investment quality animal, it don't always have to be the most expensive animal. I, um, I think I paid, I don't know, I think it was like 50 bucks for her on the reptile ring auction site. Um, plus, uh, um shipping so it's a hundred dollars hey there you go it don't always have to be that expensive animal don't fall into that trap don't get me wrong it's good to invest in higher quality animals yes i i agree with that and, and what i mean by high quality animals she's a high quality animal but i mean like expensive morphs and 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 things like that that's great but don't forget about the small stuff because that you know it's in the details and fine details is where you make awesome snakes you know that's where you're gonna find the best snakes you know people you'll see people out there 
that will literally focus on and one of my favorite types to bring up is the spider ball python um i've just been seeing some spectacular spider ball pythons just single gene ball pythons but it's because that person paid attention to what they were doing with that pairing what they were doing with that gene and that morph and, and how they were going to create that and where they were going to go on that and build upon that and build upon that and, and just making awesome snakes that way i've seen it done with carpets i've seen it done with boas i mean that's the thing don't just get caught up in the big name morphs you know focus on the little things the small details and you can create some epic snake art and just have a beautiful snake look at that just absolutely gorgeous so you know kind of a little bit of a, a topic there on, on investments what's investment what's not investment um, to me all snakes are investment quality animals you know it just depends on you know your definition of investment and everybody has a different you know viewpoint on that and that's just my opinion you know so anyway hopefully you guys have a wonderful 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 fourth of july weekend i know i've been enjoying it it's been the weekend but it continues on because july 4th falls tomorrow on a tuesday and it's just carried on i've had a great time with my family you know me and my son and and then my uh, my workout partner came over today and we hit the gym hard today i mean we went hard i mean i literally felt like i was gonna throw up and pass out and i didn't stop i kept going it was great um priest was getting just pushing and that's the awesome thing about having my son down there with us is he inspires me to do better in the gym because if i see him working he's giving it his all there's no excuse why i can't be giving it my all you know i there's just no excuse yes with my injuries in my limited certain things yeah but don't let limitations stop you or define you on who you are and what you're going to be and what you can and can't do push past those things and you will be pleasantly surprised with the results same thing with this don't let money stop you from following your dreams if you can't afford that expensive snake that you see so what focus on what you have be thankful for what you got and push through it as always you know please like click share and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i upload and as always if you have any questions or comments just please leave them down below and you know i will get back to you i'll be back doing another video because it's beautiful out right now and so I'm going to do another video here in a minute, so you'll be seeing me here soon. Anyway, this is Boxing Ball and Hidden saying peace.